Hello friends, this video on cell, the unit of life, part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about cytoskeleton. So what is cytoskeleton? Cyto means cell. And skeleton we all know, the basic framework of the body. So let us try to understand why I am going to talk about the skeleton of the cell. Does cell also have a skeleton? Yes, of course. When you think of our body, human being has a skeleton. So that skeleton forms the basic framework and on that you have all the flesh and everything arranged in proper order and that makes you look beautiful. But basically the basic framework is there in the skeleton. So similarly inside the cell also there is a skeleton. And what is that skeleton? That skeleton is nothing but cytoskeleton. So there are some structures which together form the cytoskeleton. For example in human beings there are some structures which form the cytoskeleton like the bones, muscles, they together form the cytoskeleton. Similarly, in case of cells also, we have some specific structures which form the cytoskeleton. Let us think of, it is something like a bridge. So when a bridge is built, first of all, the pillars are built. And then on those pillars, these lateral structures are built to provide additional support. Right? So similarly, in case of cytoskeleton, these pillars are like the microtubules these pillars are nothing but microtubules which gives the basic support so they provide the compressional support whereas these structures which are constructed like these these structures which give additional support or which provide the tensional support they are the microfilaments so microtubules and microfilaments together form the cytoskeleton structure of a cell. So now we are going to talk about these cytoskeletal structures in detail. We look at the structure of a microtubule, we look at the structure of a microfilament. So what are cytoskeletal structures? As I said, these are network of minute proteinaceous structures present in the cytoplasm. Now while we are talking about so many things, did you observe one thing? These substances like proteins, lipids, they are so very important because anything we talk about inside the cell is made up of proteins or lipids, or carbohydrates. So these, I mean, in fact, so when each cell is made up of all these things, so we can see that everything that exists on this earth, every life form which exists on this earth are dependent on these molecules. So we will spend another lesson understanding these kind of molecules. Okay, we'll see that later. So these um, cytoskeletal structures are network of protein structures in the cytoplasm. So what are the cytoskeletal structures? Microtubules, microfilaments. So what are microtubules? These are hollow tube-like structures. They are composed of the protein tubulin. So this is how they look like, microtubule. So this is just one side view, it is like a cylindrical structure, this type of structure, which is made up of these proteins called tubulin. So they are the pillars of the bridge, so they give the basic support to the structure. And on that are present microfilaments, which are very thin when compared to microtubules. So this is how they look like, microfilaments. And they are composed of the protein actin. So these two structures together form the cytoskeleton. So here in this picture, you can look at the actual cytoskeleton. This is an actual cytoskeleton uh, picture. So here, if you see this blue colored central objects, which you see, that is nothing but the nucleus. What about the microtubules and microfilaments? So this thicker tubes, green colored thicker tubes is micro tubule and what about the microfilament the thinner structures which which are formed over the microtubules are the red colored structures that is microfilament so this is how it actually looks like this is how the skeleton of a cell actually looks like so this forms the basic uh, 
framework of the cell and over this so many cytoplasm is present so many cell organelles are present so we should not forget talking about cytoskeleton because without this the cell will not be able to get that structural support so these provide the structural support to the cell so quickly looking at the significance of cytoskeleton, it provides mechanical support, it maintains the shape of the cell. So see the shape of the cell is also not dependent on just one thing. Cytoskeleton plays a role there, cytoplasm plays a role there, even the plasma membrane plays a role there. So many things put together will be able to achieve one thing, that, that is the uh, motor here. So this was all about cytoskeleton. So now before we move into something else we also need to mention that cytoskeleton also influence locomotion for example cytoplasmic streaming we talk about we spoke about cytoplasmic streaming where the cytoplasm itself moves and since the cytoplasm moves the other cell organelles also move relative to each other so this movement is also supported by cytoskeleton because that is the base so above that it's something for example when you move your hand can you move your hand if your uh, muscles or your bones do not help you in moving it? You can't. So similar is the case. Cytoplasm can move only if the cytoskeletal structures is supporting it. It protects the cell from damage due to mechanical stress. It is like the bridge where you have the pillars and the lateral wires to uh, prevent any damage due to torsional stress or the mechanical dress. So that means also it protects the cell. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.